I remember Colin used to say to me, make sure you kill everyone in the gym, every session, be the best in the session in, in the gym. And I was like, okay, Carl. At that point, my gram wasn't the best and at all. Hey, when they say make sure you kill everyone in the gym, they're saying fuck niggas up. I'm talking about TJ Dillashaw style. <laughs> After the bell, don't give him no slack. Bomb him. Fuck him. It's practice, I know, but guess what? No fair ones. We're Back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Alright family, so I hope this works. As you can see, we got the official like reaction video. Maybe I should make this a little smaller. This is like the first official one, so rock with me. And by the way, this is also, <clears throat> I'm going to stop this for those of you on YouTube just to let you know it's still going to be free, but I want you guys to go check out the Patreon just because it's completely free. <clears throat> and there's some videos that I've put out over there that you haven't seen on YouTube yet. So um, I just want to let you guys know that the stuff over there is free just to get that through people's heads. You know, yes, it's Patreon. You normally think you have to pay but the way i'm doing this shit man still gonna everything is still free for the full-time family i know a lot of us are fucking broke but i'm just doing patreon for me okay but you, you get the point but with that being said this video is um darren till why i was sent to brazil for four years he's doing an interview i have not watched it yet <clears throat> it's with espn uk and this is going to be rea a reaction video now i'm going to do a lot more of these like i know there's a youtube channel called like mma world and they make fucking um, not only does it cover MMA news, but there's always comedy at the end of all their videos that is just hilarious. So I'm going to react to all of those, but the majority of my reaction videos are probably going to be on Patreon because YouTube's little weird copyright issues, even though it's fair use, sometimes people can mess with you. So a majority of those I'll leave on Patreon. But now with all of that being said, this is the first one. Let's get into it at about a minute or two minutes or so into the video. I'll stop it on YouTube, but you can catch the full version on Patreon for free, whether you're safe subscribed or anything, just patreon.com slash full-time MMA, and it's all free. Go check it out. With that being said, let's get into this video. I'm going to put in my headphones, actually, so you guys don't hear an echo whenever I press play. So give me one more second. <clears throat> all right, now we're ready. With that being said, without further ado, my mum was like on me case, like to get a job and that. And I was like, listen, mum, you know, I've always been this. I like, I know what I'm doing with my life. Just sit back and watch. Mm -hmm. And she was like, no, because you need a job and you need to like secure your, your future. And I was like, yeah, okay, I understand that. But it's my way, let me do it how I'm gonna do it. Just believe in me. And I didn't really care if, if I didn't make a career or if I didn't make crazy amounts of money. I just wanted to do what I really like to do. So you okay? Hey man, I hear him, man. but I, I completely, you know, moms ain't hearing that shit. Like, hey mom, no, check this out. I wanna be a fighter. Like, man, if you don't sit the fuck down somewhere, hey mom, I'm trying to YouTube. What the fuck? If you don't take your ass back to work and earn a fucking shitty paycheck, it's like, no, trust me on this one. I hear what my boy's talking about. Very headstrong and you were going very clearly in one direction, but then I guess at around 19, 20, 20. Hey, she's got it. I know that's not Megan O'Leary, but kind of looking at her from this way, it kind of looks like Megan O'Leary, but you can tell it's not from the accent. But ESP in UK, hey, look cute. 2012, Liverpool wasn't the most ideal place for you to be anymore. Not, not really, uh, like... I was training a lot, but I was like, you know, just mixing with not the wrong cards and that, but just, you know. Darren Till swagged out with the sneaks you saw him. Just a Liverpool teenager, like 18, 19, just getting myself into trouble and that. And uh, I was in a nightclub and I got stabbed and it was like a millimetre from, I think it was a tendon or a nerve. It was a nerve. And if it would have it hit the nerve, apparently it would have bled to death. Gosh, that's what the doctor told me. I had the chat with me culture. So if you didn't know the story, now, I, I kind of knew the story, but I haven't saw this video. I've never heard Darren to, uh, tell the story. He got into a bar fight back in Liverpool, which is part of the reason he went, you know, and he got stabbed in that bar fight. And that's what he's talking about here when he said it was really close. I'm going to rewind it a little bit. 
a Liverpool teenager, like 18, 19, just getting myself into trouble on that. And uh, I was in a nightclub and I got stabbed. And it was like a millimetre from, I think it was a tendon or a nerve. It was a nerve. And if it would have, it would have hit the nerve, apparently I would have bled to death. Gosh, that's what the doctor told me. I had the chat with my coach of what, what, what. I think he's talking about an artery, you know what I'm saying? They usually say if the artery gets nicked, you'll bleed to death, but same difference, you get the point. He was, you know, he said at a nightclub, they got into a scuffle, got stabbed, it was real close to hitting something, and if it would have hit it, he would have bled to death, and we probably wouldn't. You know, I've thought about that before when I heard the story. Like, can you imagine all the people whose artery probably did get nicked? That could have been the next fucking, or, you know, Conor McGregor, or John Jones, or, you know, take it to other sports. The Michael Jordans, the Peyton Mannings, just whoever, you know, who, who was that tough guy and was just fucking a star of their craft, but then, you know, lives got taken too soon. That could have happened with Darren too, but he's still here to tell the story. What was like the best to do is like, if you want to continue fighting, you've got to get focused. You've got to stop arsing around, as he said. And I was like, okay. And he was like, this is really what you want to do. But then you have to go to Brazil. Liverpool's not the place for you at the, this moment in time. And I was like, Okay, coach. All right, so for those of you on YouTube, that's the, the beginning of the reaction. There's still a little bit of time left, but I'm going to stop it right here and put this part on YouTube, and I'm going to continue and put the full video on Patreon. It's free. All you have to do is click the link and go there, and you can click play. It's the exact same thing. Free, no paywall, nothing. So if you want to see the rest of this reaction video, go check out the Patreon. There's also a couple videos you haven't saw from YouTube, MMA topics, um, that you can see on there as well that are free. So go check that out. And for the Patreon family, let's continue. Tell me about landing. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. Da 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 da. It's the motherfucking D O double G.